welcome to the fiddle lesson. Let's learn a great classic Irish tune called Swallowtail Jig. I'm going to play it a little bit faster, and then we're going to learn it slowly. Okay, here it goes. Whole thing. Jigs, six eight tunes, kind of a triplet feel. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. For this tune, you need to know the D scale. Here it is. If you haven't already practiced that, I have another video for that, which will help you with that. Um, now, related to the D scale, a mode of the D scale is E Dorian. What this means is that it's the same notes as a D scale, but we're starting on the second degree of it, which in this case is E. And we're going up to E. Creates a minor sound. I recommend practicing that, and then practicing D scale. Dorian again, but slowly with patterns. Try it with try alternating these two scales, maybe triplets. All right, just practice. Pause the video. If you practice those two scales a lot, this tune will kind of unfold pretty easily. All right. So I'm just going to jump into it now because you've paused it already, right? And you've practiced that, right? 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 Okay. Good. Um, here's the first phrase. I'm going to add more. This is what I added. One on A. Now, if you can do it, here's a trick. Take your first finger, plant it across both the D and the A string. Bum, 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 bum. Just keep it there. Then, then it'll make it easier to play it faster eventually. But that's easier said than done. This is actually pretty hard and worthy of just practicing a lot. A lot of people have trouble getting that in tune. If you absolutely can't do it, then just lift the finger, like three, one, one. Lift it to the A. So I recommend this little riff is sort of the key to the tune. If you can get it, the rest of the tune's not too hard technically. Play it for a while together. If you don't have it yet, just pause the video and practice it a bunch. It really is the key to the tune. That's followed by this. play just this. So we first have, then we have, makes sense? I'll do all that slower, that's the first quarter. That's the first quarter of the tune, one more time. It 
it's also going to be pretty much the third quarter with a slight tweak. All right, uh, second quarter of Swallowtail J. Start second finger on D. And then putting that together. Technically not quite as hard as the opening. Let's cycle it anyway. That's followed by this. And then to that little piece we're going to add So we have now this bigger piece. So listen to the whole second quarter of Swallowtail Jig. Cycling it. One more time. All right. Now we have the first and second quarters. If you don't completely have those, pause and learn them because it'll make the rest of the A part quite easy if you have them. Third quarter, very similar to the first. Just the last kind of bit is a little different. It ends with... Instead of... It ends with... Here's the whole third quarter again. Let's cycle it together a couple times. Last quarter. Let's break that up. Starts with and then let's put those together. And it ends with here's that again. Whole fourth quarter of Swallowtail Jig. You now have all four quarters. If you're unsure of any one of those, then pause and learn them. I'm going to now play the entire A part slowly, and then if you get lost or something, you can rewind or go to rewind to one of the earlier parts. So here's the whole A part. One, two, three, four, five, six. B part starts first on A with this. Now 
let's add more. After that, we're going to add this. I like to slur those together. So we have... We're going to do this idea, this little bit, twice in a row. So we got... After that we add this to finish the first quarter of the B part. Here's the whole first quarter of the B part. Let's do it twice in a row. That's also the third quarter, so you know half the B part. All right, second quarter of the B part is this. So it starts the same, then it does. Listen to the whole second quarter again. Same as the first. Fourth quarter, same as the fourth, fourth quarter from the A part. You now have been taught all the parts. If you're unsure of any of them, go back and look at them. There's also tabs, fingerings that is written below. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm going to play the entire B part now. The, and again, make sure you got all the parts before putting it together. Here's the whole B part. Thanks for watching. By the way, I did one A, one B part there because it was slower. To me, it makes more musical sense. But if you speed it up, and typically when they're paid, they are played faster, you do two A's, two B's. And that's like that with most fiddle tunes. Okay, so, well, I hope this was helpful for you. And uh, um, if you liked it, you can subscribe to Fiddlehead down below. There's a button somewhere. And also let me know how I can improve the lesson and how uh, if you have any questions or anything. Okay, so long. Thanks for watching my video. Excellent.